everybody, Kathy at North Star Prep Stetter. I am in West Central Minnesota and I would like to introduce you to a new member of my garden. This is the Murasaki Purple Pepper. These plants are gorgeous. They're actually the tallest of the pepper plants in my garden. They have very nice straight stems. I know the lighting, it's a little bit hard to see in here. This one plant is just a little smaller than the others, but I'm going to show you what we've got. Look at the variegated leaves on there. It's purple and green. New leaves are a little bit greener, but then they grow into this purple, and they're just beautiful. The, the stems themselves are purple, and very strong and straight and the blossoms are purple. Beautiful variegated leaves. They add such depth and like a regalness to the garden, at least to my pepper section. <laughs> Look at how the peppers just grow in there. There's a great story with these peppers. I do have them on a short um, trellis just to support them and they're kind of uh, growing through I've trained them to kind of grow on the, on both sides of it but I do have like one clip on one of the stems just to hold it in place but look at these peppers aren't they gorgeous and they're very prolific Look at what I was able to pick. Just a brief picking here. These peppers are an ancient Japanese pepper and they're pretty rare. They're really not grown in the States at all. And I don't know anybody else around who grows these, but they are growing great this summer in Minnesota. They're just beautiful. They're such a deep purple, they're almost black. And they're not hot, they're heatless and they're actually a sweet pepper and they're beautiful and wonderful in salads and other ways to eat fresh. <laughs> 